Hi, I'm Bill Myers. This is my video tip of the week. And this week I'm going to show you how to get great looking chroma key with Sony Vegas or Sony Vegas Movie Studio. Let's get started. I want to stop this clip right here and talk about some of the things you can do with chroma key. You know, before I show you how to quickly create chroma key, I wanted to show you some of the things you can do. For example, this walk on where I walk right in front of a computer screen is one of the things that you can easily accomplish with chroma key in Sony Vegas or Sony Movie Studio. Easy to do. Chroma key is great for having, you know, you can put yourself in front of a screen where you can point things out. You can put other video clips behind you. You can put yourself in a studio if you want. Or you can put uh, video graphics, computer graphics behind you. There are so many things you can do with Chroma Key. And I just wanted you to see what you could do uh, before I go in and show you how to do it. Now I show how to do these things on the DVDs uh, that I create and also on my website. So if you want to learn more about how to get great Chroma Key, you might want to check those out. Now let's get back and I'm going to show you how to get great Chroma Key with Sony Vegas and Sony Movie Studio. Let's continue. First thing we want to do is to take the video clip that we shot that has a chroma key background and bring it up onto our timeline just like that. And you notice that in my clip that I have right here that I start the clip with a solid blue background and then I walk on the screen. The reason I do that is I want to be able to grab some of that blue background when I do my chroma key. The next step now that's on the screen is to go to video effects and select chroma blur. Take chroma blur pull it right over the video line and under the default presets here select a medium blur just like that. Next step is go back to your video effects, grab the chroma keyer, and bring it right on top of your image. When you do that you can you have many options. You can select the blue or whatever you want. Now this is where it gets a little bit tricky. What I do is I use this little eyedropper but before I do I go to my project media. I have to move this out of the way so I can see it. I right clip on that, that chroma, chroma key clip that I've drug on the timeline and select open and trimmer. And the reason I do that is it'll open a copy of it right over here in the window. And I can take my eyedropper and grab me a big old chunk of that blue. And that becomes my chroma key blue. Now to see how well that works, we'll put our mouse somewhere in the middle of our track. And you can see that's what chroma key looks like right here before you adjust it, before you put a background on it. So here's how to quickly adjust your chroma key. First thing is to click show mask only right here. Notice that turns it to black and white image. Then take the high threshold. You want to use high first and move high all the way until that image turns white. This is the foreground image turns completely white. Now with that done you want to bring the low threshold until the background turns completely black. And Now you can turn your show mask on and see how good a key you have. Another way to turn out to see how good a key you have is to drag something up underneath it. And we'll go to our project media and I'm going to drag this video studio up underneath it. And you know I've got the show mask on. We'll turn the show mask off here. And you can see how nice and sharp a key that we have right there. If you want to fine tune this, go to your preview window option, select best and full, which gives you a large screen. And you can look at that large screen to see how good a chroma key image you have. And if you have little jaggies, you see we have little bitty jaggies right around the edge there. You might want to bring the blur up just a tiny bit. And notice how sharp a chroma key that gives us. So that's the quick and easy steps to getting great looking chroma key with Sony Vegas and Sony Vegas Movie Studio. I'm Bill Myers. This has been another one of my video tips of the week. To find more like this, visit www.bmyers.com.